Hey guys, good morning. David Kirsch here. Saturday morning. It's beautiful in New York City. And welcome to my compound boot camp here on honeycomb.fit, the place for health, wellness, and everything good for you. Are you ready to sweat? Are you ready to connect your mind and body? All of it. All right? We're gonna start with a warm up. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. We're gonna do 10 repetitions. Good mornings to start. Hands behind your head, core is nice and tight, hinging at the waist. My legs are straight. I'm working my hamstrings, my glutes, my lower back. Turn to the side, watch that line, it's a straight line. If you need to bend your legs a little bit, do it. This is so, so good. Not just morning, any time. Let's go, five more. Five, four tight, four, three, Two and one. All right. Around the world, I'm gonna grab one of my five pound dumbbells. If you have a water bottle or a can of tomatoes, whatever you have, let's use it. Feet are shoulder with this as part, arms up, rotation, hinging the waist all the way down, swing all the way down. Stop at 12 o'clock and back the other way. Two, three, working my hamstrings, working my lower back, working my glutes, working my core, waking up my mind, connecting it to my body. And every repetition I take, I go lower, really reaching down. If you need to bend your legs, do it. If you keep them straight, you got a little more hamstring action going. Susan, Uncle Joe, before you get in that pool, good morning and around the world. Pepper, you rock. One more each way. And around. Oh, I've got a ton of questions that are going to be answered, but right now I'm going to get some Jackson. That's 15, and out to the side, shoulders. Trilateral foot raises, my core, my legs, waking up my heart. Four, three, two, one, okay. I'm gonna grab the dumbbell. First question was shadow boxing. I've seen you do it. Why do you do it? How do I do it so I don't look silly? Alright. Check it out, my, my knees are soft. I'm reaching over. I've got some crossovers. Anyone can do it. My girls love doing it, they're 10 years old. Obviously you don't need to use weights. Right if I drop the weights, and here I am, crossover, come across my body, engaging my core, my shoulders, my upper back, getting a little leg action in. If I want more squat, I'll take it down. And uppercut. Better, there we go. Uppercut, got my core, my arms, my upper back, my shoulders, heart rate, and then you can punch it up. You want a little more lat action up here. So, Susan, aka Pepper, 
That's how you shatter box. It's also a great, and I mean great, de-stressor. Let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, I got my 5 pound dumbbell. I'm going to quickly look and see who's here and say good morning. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Susan. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning, you all. Melina, good morning. I love you guys. We got celebrating our body, celebrating graduating from college. Congratulations. You know who I'm talking to. That's an amazing feat. You should be so proud of yourself and so proud of your beautiful daughter. Really. Wood chops. Feet are shoulder with this is part of my core is tight. And I'm gonna come out and here I am down. A lot of wetty in my heels. Three, four, five. Compound movement. A very efficient workout. Raising your metabolism, churning and burning fat and calories, and it's a time efficient workout. 30 minutes of this, you've got your whole body churning. And what I love about the workouts I'm giving you guys is you don't need that classic 48 hour break because we're not using heavy weights, right? We're not tearing down muscle the same way, so we don't need to give it as much rest, and we tweak the variation of the exercises, so we're getting them in different ways. There's ways to outsmart your body as long as you're being connected and you're being kind. Every repetition, every movement connects me to my inner being. And those of you that know me, those of you that love me, know yesterday was not a five star day, right? I let stress get the best of me. But, Sleep, a little prayer, a little meditation, two more reps here, and I'm back. I'm back connected to myself so I can be connected to you. Every moment, every action, every movement. Alright? Now, we're going to do flip chops, but instead of coming lateral, we're going to reach down and right up, excuse me. So we can do with a medicine ball, a kettlebell, a dumbbell, your body weight, working my legs, my arms, my core. Six, five, four, three, Two and one. Amazing. Alright. Look, I'm feeling really energized today. So I'm gonna use two weights. Don't mind me, okay? I've got eight pounds. Again, any weight you have or your body weight, just as good. So one arm is gonna be out. One arm up. Here I go. I'm gonna shoulder press, letting in my heel, squat, shoulder press. Right, so it's a squat, core tight, shoulder press. So through an ordinary squat, I'm adding a shoulder press, engaging my core, engaging my shoulders, my arms, and I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. So we got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, you're doing a great job. I'm feeding off your energy, and it feels so, so good. I'm gonna turn this up a little more because I think we need music today. Amelia and Francesca are trying to sleep in. <laughs> Ready? So, legs, butt, quads, floor, shoulders. Take it down. One, two, three, four, five. Lighting in that heel, six, 
five, seven. Driving in eight, nine, and ten. Let's do a couple more. One and five. Woo! All right. Here we go. We're going to do a lateral now with the front raise. Working my inner thighs, working my glutes, working my shoulders, working my core. I don't miss an opportunity to get my core fired up. Here's another question answered. I'm not waking up sore in my belly. What am I doing wrong? Look, your body is adjusting to the workout. That's okay. We're gonna dial up today. And every day, pushing yourself past perceived limitation. Okay, now lateral. And we're gonna go side lateral. Here. And front raise. Alternating. Side. And front. Side. Side and front. Halfway there. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Take a half second, guys. Catch your breath. That's the warm up, and it's the first circuit. So, your heart rate should be up, your legs, your back, your core, your arms, all ready to go. Yes? Yes? Let's do it. So, for this next circuit, I'm going to call it a tension circuit. I'm going to add a little quarter pulse to every move. If you can do it, right? If you need to modify any of these moves, push-ups on your knees, squats, partial range of motion, it's all good. The objective is to keep your body moving, to motivate, not bring you down. Exercise is empowering, right? You find the way to move your body. Let's do it. So, Bulgarian squats. Right here, I'm gonna anchor in my front heel. I've got hand weights, but you know I never need them. Core is tight. Watch what happens, I go down, small, and then down, there it is. So there's a little extra, a little extra down there, right? You got it? A little extra tension. There's a pulse. There. That's pulse. That's three. Pulse. I'm telling you, no weight. I'm feeling this. Pulse. In my glutes, in my hamstrings, in my quads. Pulse. Halfway there. Ever mindful. Head to toe. Three more. Three. One more. Oh, so good. That extra pulse, extra tension, delivering a little more focus, a little more energy back in my quads, my glutes, right? Two weeks of workouts with me, you're stronger, you're smarter as far as working out, you're more confident. So there's no holding you back now, right? You're gonna be all that you can be. Watch it, ten, pulse and down, that's one, pulse, two, pulse, three, pulse, four, core is tight, pulse, five, halfway there, pulse, good, my brain is in my butt, pulse, four to go, pulse, three, two, Last one coming, pulse, ah, oh man, okay, listen up guys, I told you yesterday was not the best day for me, mentally, physically, so this morning, 
I woke up, I was rested, but you know what? I want to make sure that I was there 100% for you. So I didn't cut myself shaving. I've got my half CBD 24 hour patches. Unbelievable. Not about hawking a product. I'm telling you, this stuff works. 15 minutes after putting these patches on, my body, my back, all of me feel more energized, looser, and more focused on this workout. All right, next up, we got push-ups. And you know I love my push-ups. And you also know I love twisting it up a little bit. So right here, we're gonna add that quarter now. Watch what happens. We go all the way down, right here, to the quarter, and that's one. So we're down, and two. My butt is tight, head to heel, one line. So it's a small three. And if I drop to my knees, same thing. All the way down, put her up, all the way up. Five. All the way down, put her up. Six. Again, all the way down, put her up. Seven. I'm gonna finish on my toes. All the way down, put her up. Eight. All the way down. Nine. One more. Ten. Such an extra burn, and I love doing my push-ups. Again, Susan, when things get too easy, you want to push past it and raise the level up again. Adding that quarter movement is adding constant tension and making the exercise so much more effective and the burn and the churn of the fat are so much more effective. All right, on my side, remember, compound, head to toe, I'm gonna do my favorite, my absolute favorite. So my torso is down, anyone can do this. Here's the modified, one leg up. The moment I lift my leg up, I'm engaging my oblique right here. But I know, after two weeks, you're not holding out of me. You're gonna leave it all here. Now, both legs up, knees together. Shift your weight to the bottom part of your butt and lift it up right there. My torso is not moving. No momentum. All oblique. This is gonna take churning, sculpting, get you that core, that tight core. Apple shake, I don't care. We're gonna sculpt this for now. Oblique's are gonna be beautiful. And now watch what happens. Here's my pulse. Here it is. Oh yeah. Oh, oh baby. So right on the side, right here. Right here in my core. My core is tight. I'm pulling my belly button in towards my spine. And my energy is right in my obliques. You got love handles, say goodbye to them. I'm telling you. Yeah. 
at our computers all day now, all day on the phone, not paying attention to retracting your shoulder blades. Watch this exercise. Very simple. I'm down here. Call handcuffs because that's what I am right now. And I'm going to lift up right here. My glutes are tight and squeeze my shoulder blades for five, four, three, two, and one. Now to come up. One, two, retract your shoulder blades. Three, four, five. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. And last five. Five. Four, three, so easy to do, anytime, anywhere, and five, four, three, two, four. I think I'm two inches taller, what do you think guys? Amazing opening up your chest and really making your upper back strong. No more hunching, pull it back, mindful from head to toe, right? We know about the heart, we know about the soul, we know about your core, right? All interconnected. All right. Dead bug. Very simple. Good, keeping the lower back in the floor, no marching. Hey, a little, hold on, hold on, hold on. Reset. Focus. There we go. Oh. All right. I got my abs going. You know what I'm missing? I haven't done it in a while. I have done my platypus walk. And we know we want that smile line. The first time I've heard of it, but the smile line is right down here. That's the part that hangs out below the bathing suit. If it's not all it should be. So I got my five pound weights, and I'm gonna, in my heels, as low as I can go, as low as I can stay, and if my arms are up, I've just made a compound movement because I'm now engaging my shoulders and my core and my upper back. All the while, Focusing on my butt and on my inner thighs. Ho! Who's missing some Spider-Man push-ups? Because I think that's what we need to do now. Ready to go? Here we are. Oh. Remember, the modifier right here on my knees. My, I can bring my el my knee up to my elbow. Very effective, keeping your core engaged. I'm gonna finish up five each side. Five, four, three, two. One. Yeah. Okay. Another question I had. See if there are any more questions here. You're not blessed, I am.
I'm blessed to have the God-given strength, the ability, the stamina, and the will to share my passion with you. That's my responsibility. I was born with a gift. I have a light, and I want to share it with you. It's very genuine. It's not talk. I know you feel it, right? I don't say a lot, and I don't say it often, but when I do, it comes from here. Another question I had today was, my favorite compound move, and I have so many of them, I do. I have to say I do, right? But I like doing this, this pull-up, if you can manage it, right? So I have, from Techno Gym, a little body bar. I call it my Moses rod, and I've got two bar stools. I love pull-ups. So if you've got two sturdy chairs, and a broom handle or a mop handle. Check it out. And one leg is going to be up right here. And that suddenly makes it a compound movement. I'm working my legs, my arms. Back. Oh, it's amazing here. Look, exercise and movement is supposed to be fun, right? So whether you're makeshifting a pull-up bar, and by the way, I already did 100 pull-ups on my perfect pull-up bar. Susan and Uncle Joel, that you've got catching up to do. I did 200 yesterday. Um, bottom line is, right, this craziness all ends, God willing, soon, right? What do we do? For me, the silver lining has been clearing out the clutter and the noise in my head, right? Focusing on the things that are most important to me. Um, taking care of my heart, taking care of my soul, taking care of my beautiful daughters, trying to be there for my family as much as I can. Ma, uh, Bonnie, Elise, my people that I love uh, as best as I can, right? But also realizing that I have a unique voice and I have a unique ability. You don't need to be in a gym. You don't need to be here with me in my living room. I wouldn't mind the company mask, glove, let's do it, but you can do this anywhere, anytime, no excuses, right? You own the ability, you have the confidence, you have the wherewithal to be your best you. Why not do it now? What's stopping you? Nothing, nothing. I'm here on honeycomb.fit, I'm here at, at David Kirsch. I'm here at Ultimate Family Wellness with Amelia Francesca showing me all the things that they organically learn, right? Stay tuned. Maybe we're gonna do a family boot camp soon. Let me know if you want that. DM me any questions you have and know that I'm here every step of the way for you, 24 seven. Right? I may be sleeping a little bit, but I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Any question you have, all right? I want to say thank you. I love you guys. I'll be back at 5.30 for another workout. I'm thinking it's core and butt, but we'll find out, right? Oh, no, no, no. It's the couch potato workout. I love that one. So any of you right now sitting in a chair, Sitting on the sofa, binge watching something on TV, get ready to work up a sweat. All right, guys, I'm wishing you a beautiful, restorative, but energizing Saturday. Be safe, be kind, love yourself, and put out that good energy for everyone else. Take care, guys, and have an awesome day.